Hello and welcome everyone to section 3 on complete game development course using Unity 3D. In this section we are developing a very simple racing game with cube and we will not mess up with editors in this video because we will gonna learn editors and tool actually at the time when we are using it. Now we will create a new project on Unity by clicking on new. I will give the project name cube race. And I will choose the project template as 3D because we are developing a 3D game. Now click on create project. I will introduce you a few things that has been preloaded by Unity while creating a new 3D project. At the left side of the Unity editor, we got a hierarchy and by default, it contains two game objects, main camera and directional light in our sample scene. We can also see them in our scene view and this is our scene view. Here is our main camera and our directional light. We can select them by clicking directly on an object or by selecting it from the hierarchy. To deselect the game object, you can click on any empty area of the hierarchy or in the scene view. At the bottom, there exists project window which contains all the assets of our game. Inside the asset folder, it contains a scene folder which contains our default sample scene. We can rename our scene by right clicking on it and click on the rename. I will rename it to game. Now we can see that our sample scene is changed to game in the hierarchy. Now we will create our first 3D game object cube. You can create a game object from hierarchy by right clicking on empty space, pointing on 3D object and selecting a cube. Or you can also create a game object from the game object menu at the top, point to 3D object, select the cube. After creating a game object, before doing any changes, you have to reset the transform. So let's open inspector panel and look at on the transform. My cube position is at 0 0 and 0 that is it is already at the center but if yours is different or yours is not at the center then you can type 0 0 0 here on x y and z axis or click on setting icon at the right of the transform and choose reset while selecting the cube the red arrow indicate the x axis green arrow indicate the y axis and the blue arrow indicate z axis you can zoom in and zoom out the scene view by scrolling the middle mouse button you can also pan the scene view by holding the middle mouse button by holding the right mouse button you enter the first person mode so you can look around by moving the mouse and you can also walk around by pressing the key W, A, S and D from the keyboard. To move the cube on different place, you can use the position here or you can also drag it directly from this axis handle. I will change the position back to origin. You can rotate the game object by enabling the rotate tool and dragging on any axis. You can also type degree of rotation on x, y and z axis to rotate the game object.
Now I'll change the rotation to 0 degree on all axis. Similarly, we can perform scaling on game object on any axis. I have increased the scale of the game object to 5 on X axis, so it is increased by 2.5 on each side of the X axis. You can play with transform of the game object and change its size. Finally, I will make my game object scale to 1. You can see the star mark on our game scene here, which means that our project is not saved. So I will save it by pressing Ctrl plus S. We can rename our game object by right clicking on our game object at hierarchy and click on rename. Or from the inspector panel while selecting the game object, I will set the name of this game object as player because it will be our player in this game. Now we will put the color on our player so it looks beautiful. To insert color in our player or any game object, we need to create a material. We will create our first material in our asset folder. So click on asset, at the empty place on asset, right click, click on create, choose material. Now we got our first material and I will rename it to player mat. We can choose the material color from albedo at the inspector panel. I will choose the color to red. Now you can see that our material become red. So to apply this material to the game object, just drag the material to the game object at the scene view or at the game object on the hierarchy. I will create a folder in asset named material and put all the material in our game inside it so that it is easier to find our game object while searching. Now we will add another game object plane which will be our base or path where the cube will be moved. Click on game object, 3D object, select the plane. Now reset the transform and rename it to base. We will scale it on Z axis to 20. Now select the cube and pull it up one unit just above the base. That is change the position of the player on Y axis to 1. Now I will deattach the game view and put it aside to the inspector panel so that we can see how it looks while playing the game. Now we can see the game view on right side and the scene view on the left side. At last we will move the camera up to Y axis about 3 unit so that while playing it is easier to view in front of the cube. Again while selecting main camera, I will change the sky color from sky box to solid color. And choose background color to near about white. Look at to our game view, we make our game background beautiful. How did you guys get on? If you have any difficulties then comment below. We will do lots of stuff in the next video and I will meet you there.